Hello everyone, Tim here. It's time for another video. I hope you all had a great weekend. But anyways, I've got a stack of movies here from the past week and a half or so, something like that, and a record down there, and I'm going to show it all to you, and I have a couple of things to say about some of them. But yeah, I'll dive into it before I do. If you're new to the channel, I do physical media related content for movies. I cover some records I get, things like that. Uh, it'd be great if you hit the subscribe button, but well, yeah, let's let's dive into what I got. As I typically do when I have records, I'm going to start off with the records and then we're going to go into what you really came for, which is the movies. But picked up the score to Ghostbusters 2. I really enjoy Ghostbusters 2. I never hated it, but <laughs> very happy this is the first time the score got a release on vinyl, I believe. That's the inside... That's the back. It's got a really nice, like, matte feel to it, but the no ghost sign is in a uh, gloss feel. And the record itself has pink splatter on it. Very cool. Definitely happy to add this. I already had Ghostbusters 1, the Mondo release, so very happy with that. Okay, now time for the movies. The stack over here is, what, some Best Buy... FYE, and a little bit of Amazon, and some stuff that came from across the ocean that I imported. So, yeah, dive into it now. Gonna go through some of them pretty quick to not make the video too long. Got Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, uh, $3.99 from Best Buy, I believe it was. Uh, very good movie. I haven't seen it in decades, but very good movie. Looking forward to a rewatch. I'm kind of surprised I didn't already own it. Got the new the new stand, which I've heard good things about. Haven't gotten around to watching this, but I uh, picked this up at Best Buy, twenty some dollars. Uh, the original Christmas Classics Collection Steelbook. It's the front and the back. Basement Blues Tony. He did a uh, a nice unwrapping of this, but just show you real quick. It's a nice steelbook for absolutely classic. Christmas films. Got Pig. I have heard so many amazing things about Nicolas Cage's performance in this from people that I really respect their opinion. So definitely looking forward to checking this out. It's a neon film. I have already have a separate, like, I separate my A24 and I separate my neon into like their own little collections. So pretty cool. I'll add this to my neon collection. And then going into A24, got On the Rocks. I know Ken at Mid-Level Media did not like this movie. I didn't watch it yet, but I really like Rashida Jones and Bill Murray, so fingers crossed I like it. But this was like $11.99, though. Super cheap. Though I wish it had a slip. Got Paranormal, Paranormal Activity 6 movie collection for $13 or $14 at uh, Best Buy. I actually only had, I had one on DVD, two, three, four on Blu-ray, and didn't have five and six. So it's worth it to just get this version, and I'll sell off the others. Pretty cool. These are very good jump scare movies. Like, that's what their purpose is, is jump scares, and they work. I, I think they're some of, the, some of the best of the found footage genre. Absolutely. <laughs> Amazing classic movie. I, I adore this movie. This would it's either in my top five all time or definitely in my top ten. I I really only only know my top three without really thinking about it. But Scream is a movie I adore. This the day I got the steel book, I popped it in and watched it, but now I had to have the the slip version and my wife and friend kind of busted my ass about this because you know I spent twenty well, no, I, I used a rewards certificate, so I spent $15 to buy the same movie again that I that don't need to open this one to watch it. I already have the Steelbook opened up and watched it, but I have a 1-6 scale like figure like that of Ghostface, and I'm thinking about putting this on the shelf with it, kind of help complete my Ghostface scream area. Uh, pick this up at... FYE called the violence movie this is an MVD release uh <laughs> reading the back 
I know nothing about this really besides what I read on here, but it's basically a couple of brothers that made their own homage to slashers to specifically like Friday the 13th. And it looks like it could be kind of dumb fun. Sometimes fan films are kind of fun to watch and it's amazing that they actually got right there. That's the composer of Friday the 13th. So that's very cool. Loved the artwork. I love the whole like vintage feel of this. And I might even pop these in today. They're literally two shorts, 14 minutes and 19 minutes. So there's not a lot of content here. There's a good amount of special features though. But this was like 10 bucks and I don't know, it sold me. Got two classics next. Got Mad Love. This is a Warner Archive release. And I have watched so many amazing movies due to Warner Archive. And part of me, I read the description, part of me thinks I might have saw this. But I'm not 100% sure. Uh, my mom used to keep Turner classic movies on like 24-7. So there are so many classics I've seen that I might not have known the movie before but when i pop it on sometimes it's like oh i did see this before so yeah i she that's the only channel she had on this one so this is the chic this is uh number 25 in paramount presents but this is actually the newest release because they got a little out of order that's the inside artwork but anyways, I literally just got done watching this, and I have thoughts that I'm actually going to put into a separate review, which will be my first review on this channel since, like, rebooting. I'm really interested. It's kind of funny, too. My very first review will be not a talkie, and it's Tim Talk talkie, but whatever. Just ignore that. I'm, I've got thoughts on this, though. Next up is going to be import stuff. The movie 12 Feet Deep. This does not have a Blu-ray in the United States. It's only DVD. This is a German release. And it it's, uh, I guess, think open water without sharks and in a pool, I guess is the best way to describe it. I know that without sharks kind of takes away part of open water, but it is... Two women trapped, they get trapped inside of like a community pool. This hard plastic cover thing comes over top of it and they can't get through it. And they're literally trapped inside the pool and they have to, you know, tread the water the whole time because, I mean, it's a 12 foot deep pool. It, it was actually a pretty good little suspense horror. I, I dug this. It's got Tobin Bell in it. I don't think I spent too much on importing this, but... It's a cool little movie. I think I watched it on Netflix a couple of years ago. Next up is one I'm very happy to add to the collection. And that is Palm Springs. This is a Spanish imp uh, uh, import from Spain. And I absolutely adored this movie. This is, if not my favorite of 2020, it is damn close. I know we've seen this type of movie many times many times over groundhog day is probably like the top of the heap for this type of time reset type movie but i love uh andy sandberg's brand of comedy and this movie is so heartfelt but also just rib splitting laughing funny i i, I absolutely adore it both leads have great chemistry it is so funny J.K. Simmons is in a side role, a reoccurring role that is just great. I adore this movie. I've watched it like three times on Hulu, and I'm going to damn well watch the Blu-ray. I need my region free player to come in first, but I'm very, very happy for that. Yeah, they're both region B locked titles. And then last up, I have two Zavi titles, which took a little bit to come in, but... I've got The Sting. This is an excellent Paul Newman and Robert Redford con artist type movie. If you enjoy something like Ocean's Eleven, I think you would really like this type of movie. you got two fantastic actors. 
in just great chemistry with each other. I mean, heck, they were also in uh, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid together. They are, uh, yeah, really great. This edition is the Steelbook and some little cards and stuff like that. But I didn't get the Steelbook the first time around at Best Buy. I got the slip. So I think, what the hell? I'll get the Steelbook one from Zavi. I'm very happy with it. This is probably within my top 10 of 70s movies. It's it's an absolutely great movie. Robert Redford, man, his uh his 60s into 70s stuff, he was he was on point and you can never go wrong with Paul Newman. And we'll go with the last one here is The Guest. This is the second site release. Many people have already unboxed this and shown all this, so you can go to their channels if you want to see the whole thing. But I oh, it, I should mention, if you want to, like, I think Tony at Basement Blues did this, I think, and I know Ken at Midlevel covered it, so if you want to watch their videos. But, uh, yeah, this is Adam Wingard relatively early in his career, and this is a wild movie in that, it really blends genres, and that's something I personally love. I love when there's, like, big tonal shifts going on in a movie. Like, say, Shaun of the Dead, how it's a straight-up comedy that turns into a straight-up horror at the end. I love when things kind of throw you off and do that type of thing. And The Guest does that pretty damn well. This is part thriller, part mystery, part action film, part horror film. It is absolutely bonkers like the amount of times it will kind of shift the tone and dan stevens as the the lead uh villain or whatever is really damn good in this there'll be there'll be scenes where he's playing along his character to everyone around him but when they leave the frame and he's alone he has this dead soulless stare and it is really good. Uh, I I really liked this a lot. Uh, on the back, she's one of the, she's one of the leads. Also, if you saw It Follows, that's the same girl. And one of the real winners of this movie is the soundtrack. This is the soundtrack, and the entire thing comes in here on CD, which is damn cool. I really 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 enjoy this movie this is probably one of adam wingard's absolute best right there with uh your next but yeah that is that is everything like i said i'm going to be working on next a complete review for the chic which will be my first review on the channel but yeah that's everything uh yeah like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one